from boohoo like I you guys already know the excessive online shopping addiction but I always before a trip especially for like a fun summer trip I always want like really cute fun summery pieces and so I just go crazy and I ordered a bunch of cool stuff from boohoo that is like so summer vibes like oh my god if you're going to like Mexico or Miami or Europe, I just feel like the pieces I picked out are so cute. So I wanted to show them to you guys. Um, and I just got to get all this sorted out. So let me move all this. All right, this place is a wreck, but you guys know how I do it now. Keep it real chill and casual over here. Um, this little crochet top I thought was so, so cute for throwing over a bikini top and basically wearing like at the beach or pool just by itself with the bikini bottom which let me actually get one on for you guys so you can see so like got the bikini bottom on and you see what i mean just like lounging at the pool sunglasses and drink it's like so cute and very vacationy but i feel like it looks classier just as a top i don't know maybe i would pair it with like a bralette underneath and like a high waisted pair of like silk trousers or something to make it like a night outfit actually that would look really good yeah that would look really good um to dress it up but i think this kind of item you just have to be careful styling it it could go tacky kind of quickly like like coachella festival so you have to keep the styling very like chic and simple so bikini top cover up plain with like a neutral neutral bikini bottom or with like a high-waisted um pair of trousers okay so next thing i got really into fringe right now i don't know why grease i got like really inspired by like crochet and knits and netting and fringe like I just went hard so i saw this cute little black dress that's really simple and i thought this would be such a cute little like simple dinner uh dress or honestly even daytime so it's gonna be a really cute one this is a boohoo find this is literally fits so well okay let me put it up here for you i mean gorgeous so flattering i love the little asymmetrical line this is really nice. You guys know how Boohoo goes. Like the fitting can sometimes be hard to nail on these things. So this is gorgeous. Um, it definitely, the fringe comes up. Like if you have a big butt, like a little bit close to the booty area. So I don't know if I'd wear it out as a dinner dress. I think I'd maybe do it more over like a swimsuit. But so cute and chic for a swimsuit. You could do like a pop of color for the bikini and then throw this over. It is so cute, flip flops. I mean, it's adorable, but wow, the fit is really nice. I am very, very impressed for Boohoo, you know? Like you just never know, the neckline is so pretty. Okay, next item is this really cute little romper that I also got with like kind of pool, actually more like beach and day in mind. I thought it would be really cute so it's like a slinky material <laughs> always like literally changing as i'm talking to you guys um this is why i wear my little nude bra because i just honestly don't care but i thought this would be really cute during the day oh my god cute <gasps> so cute wow okay wait no maybe this is more of a night vibe this is a night vibe oh my god this is gorgeous Oh yeah, wow, that is stunning. Okay, I know exactly how to wear this. 
We have the bra for starters. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So since it's like really, really fitted, I'm obsessed with this kind of keyhole situation. But again, fit is amazing. You do a big blazer over top and then any sort of heel. I'm gonna do a black heel. And oh, I mean, such a cute vacation dinner outfit. This ended up fitting so much better than I thought. It's so cute, especially with the big blazer. It's so cool. Sorry, the angle is like not the best, but this is really, really pretty. So next, I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I am obsessed with these shorts. So um, these are kind of like a really popular style right now amongst the runway and like designers and I just really really like these like fun kind of cool they're almost like 70s beach pattern like the Miami I, I, I can't really describe it but this is kind of like a replica of that so I would do it with something like this like super I actually like I just literally threw on the shorts over that thing and I would maybe even do like a white point toe pump with it and it's kind of just like a really fun pop of color you just have to style it right and then i think it's really cute honestly if i had a white blazer it would probably work better but this is really cute or even if i had a black pump it would be so good i need to order these in black it's really cute but i don't know i just really love it i know it's not for everyone if you even do a yellow heel it would be cute Ooh, but i kind of like this Okay, I'm pulling you guys up into the mirror for the next part of this because I just need to be able to like visualize and talk through what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the shorts um, are from Boohoo and I really like these kind of longer biker style shorts that are almost, almost like borderline a pedal pusher. But these, I love the white, love the tie with the ring. I thought it was so cute, so... How I'd wear this, like, for a night look, dinner, I would just do a white strappy top with it. If you have something strappy, I think that would pair really cool. I just did, like, a white bralette and then a big oversized blazer, obviously, because it's super fitted and the strings kind of stick out. And then, like, a white um, pointy toe heel. I think it just, like, kind of makes something that maybe would feel a little bit more casual dressed up and i just love the look you know what i'd actually even do is even like a mule like a slide toe but i really like the pointy toe because it makes it kind of like classier pretty but i really like the all white for this um with no color because i think it could start to get a little mm. questionable with a color heel because of this situation so you want to keep it really sleek chic um, but I love it and I didn't think I would be into this vibe, but I actually really like how I styled this It's really cute next boohoo piece is this beautiful bodysuit I have been dying for a bodysuit like this with these rings and sorry if like my necklace is on so you can't there We go. I'll just kind of squish them up so you can kind of get the full effect, but very 70s I just love this vibe. It's actually a designer that makes this type of style suit, but I literally can't get it in stock. So I was like, this totally gives the same vibe. It's super sexy, but you're still like really covered up. So I would definitely wear this with like a very baggy denim just because it is so sexy. You want to balance it out with something really baggy on bottom, or at least that's what I like to do. If I have something like exposed somewhere else, something's got to give, like I need to be fully covered up or something needs to be baggy. So ideally, I think I would want a pair of denim that doesn't have rips in it because I feel like that competes with like the ring details. So just a solid baggy denim would probably be really cute and then the pointo heels really fun could also do like a yellow heel or something that would be really cute with the blue but it's so fun very summery sexy um and really cool and again i know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but i love it good morning been a minute since we've started a vlog at the coffee bar. I did not sleep well. Oh, you can see it on my face. I was like, I literally jinxed myself yesterday. I was saying I've been sleeping so well, and 
last night I had a really weird night's sleep. I don't know what, something, my body felt off yesterday. I don't know if I had like sugar or something, but something was off, I could tell. I can't remember, but this is delicious. I've been still doing my nut pods at home. Love the nut pods. Um, if I'm out at a coffee shop, I'll just get like half and half. I'm not like crazy about it because one whole 30. Oh, the UPS man is here. Your packages for me? Bright and early. I love it. But I've just been doing an Americano with cinnamon nut pods. Speaking of, I think I need a little bit more. It's not very creamy. I love packages. I got these little sticks off of Amazon. Just Amazon them because um, the nut pods definitely, you have to stir the coffee. Uh, not that you don't with regular cream, but you can kind of get away with just like zhuzhing it around. Definitely need it with the nut pods. Thank you. You too. What is this? Should we do a coffee and unboxing? You guys, I'm getting so many boxes this week for the trip, so I feel like this whole vlog is going to be like little unboxings as the UPS man comes back. You know me, a week before Greece, I'm going buck wild. If priorityed everything. I can't even remember what this is actually. No, I know what it ordered. I just don't know. Um, I don't recognize the name of the vendor. Let me give you a sneak peek of, oh my God. Yep. Oh wow. Sneak peek. That's all I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is a special moment. <gasps> stunning. Let's see, last trip and this trip, I, especially for Greece because it's Europe, I am, I'm kind of spending a little bit more on higher quality like investment pieces um, for the trip. So, I obviously like, I still have, I love shopping at like Nasty Gal, Boohoo, Forever. Those are like, especially for trends and like fun um, accessories and you know, playing around with like colorful things and different patterns and prints. I will always probably do like, you know, more affordable kind of fashion. I love like, that's like all the stores that I shop at. But lately I've been liking to go for a little bit higher quality items when it comes to um, just like important events and stuff like Greece is like a trip I'll remember forever I'm gonna like have those photos probably like on our gallery wall and I like really wanted to invest in some really nice pieces that fit really well and what I'm noticing with more expensive clothes unfortunately is that they fit like a dream you guys like so much better they fit incredible like and i am also learning that you pretty much like everything even if, when it's expensive actually usually when it's exp more expensive it fits fine but tailoring is like the ticket you have to get everything molded to your body um you can never expect something to just fit right when it comes in the mail i think that's like pipe dream and people want it to just fit like right when it like arrives in the package but it never does so i literally have a stack today i'm going to the tailor and my stack of stuff is like this high i have so much stuff i'm getting everything tailored um yeah so i've got a huge stack of pants and then i've got i really wanted these denim shorts and i ordered so i had to order them in like a bigger size i'm getting them taken in um, I'm getting this shirt like cropped um, I'm getting a dress like the straps shortened and instead of just being like oh this doesn't fit me I'm just like taking things to the tailor now so I'm really into that and I feel like you can literally make pretty much any item work if you get it tailored to your body no matter the price point so that's kind of cool anyways huh yeah. you good morning crew in a second, once we have our coffees, or once I have my coffee, we'll give you all a little updated um, walkthrough slash tour of all the things we did change, updated recently. I think you'll like it. We made some changes yesterday to the house. We may show you the guest bedroom. 
or we may just wait for a reveal. I think a reveal, don't you? I think a reveal because I just, we never do that. We always bring you guys along the process and this is the one time I feel like it's so I know. fun. I just want to show you when it's completely done. And we've kind of kept it like private and secret yeah, for a while. Yeah, we've come this far. Might as well just keep it private. Yeah, we've come this far. I'm wearing a bathing suit. I just wanted to try it on. I it for yeah. Florida and it didn't come in time. It's growing on me. Um, it's not as short as I wanted for Greece. Like I'm, I was wanting to go like, I mean, like boom. Like this is what I'm going for for Greece. With these tin legs on fire, like how can you not? Um, no, but they're super comfortable. The brand is Lost, Lost Enterprise. I think I got it on Nordstrom, I think. But the material's like nice, huh? I swept over Urban. These are nice. Wow. I like these a lot. You do? These are like old Gucci. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Like old school Gucci. I feel like anything I have with, with Hawaiian flowers on it, you really like. Really? Yeah, the sweatshirt I had, you like. This is cute. I just thought it was cool. Is this? Uh, this is my Tommy Bahama. Oh. Like, that's like a nightshirt, but I wear just all day. Daddy vibes in this. Yeah. I like it. Wow, it's so soft. I am sore from yesterday's workout. I don't know what I did. Top jump. Oh, this is a good tip for guests. Okay. So I just thought of this yesterday and I was like, this, that was genius, Julia. Like, honestly, great job. Great job. I haven't even brushed my hair. I'm so sorry. Um, but I was thinking, obviously when you have guests in town, um, you are pretty much planned to like, for the most part, take them out to restaurants unless you're gonna, like, you have like some meals planned to cook dinner. So what I thought would be the perfect thing. So obviously you always want coffee, creams for coffee. Um, I got them some half and half if they want that. Um, we have some Eat Well Nash, just like pre-prepped meals. And then because we live in Nashville, we're pretty much taking them out for every meal because it's like that kind of city. But um, what I did get was stuff for a cheese board. And I feel like that is literally the best thing to have on hand because it's a go-to like happy hour snack or if someone's really hungry it's like i can just whip up a cheese board everyone loves it mm -hmm. um and so these are the cheeses i got at whole foods i got a brie a parisian brie aged gouda classic aged gouda is mwah, a truffle cheese i always just get one with truffle 12 month old manchego and then i got cheddar for hunter's dad because he's not really like a gourmet cheese guy and then that's good right yeah and then we got a little meat sampler and then a lot of crackers and we, and then we got like, the, the cheese dip too oh yeah and then and like, honestly it's nice having other like i think the tuna and chicken uh salad dips we could kind of put them are, on there well, they could go on the cheese board but i just mean like those are so good for like if a guest is hungry totally it's just like hold let me whip like, this out with some like crackers yeah, or chips exactly you want like little grabs look at you doing the cheese board you never do cheese boards i know that was like I, my thing for so long I know, I'm and kind I of just still in, still in the role. Not at all. I just was in there, and no, I figured no, I'm, I'm, I should I'm, get I'm, it. I'm cool with it. I'll probably make it's some nice. of it. But yeah. Um, you didn't and bacon almond cheddar spread from the food company, the place we got the chicken salad. Yeah. Oh, also staple when you have guests. Sweet Lorenz, they're crowd pleaser. What is on the agenda? So much to do. Let me get our to do list. I gotta edit a vlog first thing this morning. My parents come at. 2.30. We were supposed to go to the, our, the gym, which we could still make it if we leave in 20 minutes. I don't want to. I'm not feeling it. My body's feeling off today. I don't know what. Okay. I, okay, we've got a lot. Oh, Did you start the laundry last night? I started it Just this go. morning. Okay. Um, I'm going to edit vlog this morning. Okay. So both of our last night tests mm -hmm. carried over to today. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to edit vlog. I'm going to take the boxes to recycling. Blow off porch. Clean up my crutch. Okay, I have to go to the tailor, pick up the dry cleaning. Oh, I want to drop off to my the, and then drop off my dry cleaning. Go to the Ooh. UPS. I need to go to Nordstrom to pick up something. You want me to just pick it up for you when I'm out? I have like four errands, so I can just get it, so you don't have to like be gone all mm -hmm. that time. Sure, just okay. a pair of pants. That's fine. It's the pair of pants, and I got the matching top too, but the top's coming in the middle. Okay. It's a set. Okay. I got a set for grease. You did? It's a nice one. Wait, what's this set? What does it look like? Can I wear it? Yeah, you can wear it. Let me see. It's freaking cool. And I, I saw it online and I kept my mind kept going back to it. I was like, okay. Is it silky? No, it's like almost like soft. Like, uh... Get your phone. 
<laughs> I need to see it. I'm excited. So it's like a sh Ooh. shadow of a window okay. onto the shirt. Cool. See so how it's like a window Great. seal. I love that shit. Right? Yeah. And then it's a. Uh, cool. Love I it. I thought that's very crease. I can wear my gophers. And it's neutral. It's neutral. 50s vibe. Totally. I like the fit of the the pants. I know. And, oh, how it comes. The pants I pick up from the Nordstrom. Oh, right. Okay. But oh, the shirt I did a rush delivery. From Far Cry? It's supposed to be here Friday. They're almost like dress pants. I mean, they're dress pants. They look really cool. They're kind of like Leon Bridges. It, it was a, it's nice. Yeah, Leon, exactly. Some bowling shoes. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of cool. Damn, nice. And I thought you could wear the shirt. Like, you could steal it from me and wear the shirt with, like, something cool. Yeah, I want to be careful with it because it's, like, nice. All right, but... Julia was just complimenting this shirt. And this is, like, a newer find for me. It's, like, literally the softest thing I've ever felt. And I love how it has the ribbing on this. Yeah, it it's if cute. and when I wear underwear, I wear only Tommy John. Like... Favorite ride or die. Ride or die Tommy John guy. Did you stop wearing the Lululemon, Lululemon underwear? Yeah. Um, but ride or die Tommy John guy. When we were at the mall the other day, Julie was getting something, so I kind of strolled into Tommy John, wasting some time. I, I think I, I bought a couple pairs of underwear again. And I saw these shirts. And they're not just like, I think they're like in the sleep section, but people wear them just like with jeans and stuff too. Yeah. And so I bought one. Yeah, they look formal. I bought two different colors. This is the blue one, I think. And then I have a gray one. You could seriously wear that with but, jeans, and it's a cute uh, yeah, shirt. I've yeah, worn the, I've worn the gray black one with jeans before. Yeah. But this one is just like a little bit smaller um, and like tighter. Wait, I want them to On these buys. Oh my god. I want them um, to see the details. You see it's like ribbing on this part, and then it's smooth mm -hmm. on that part. Don't get too close. Nice. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Ew. Yeah. But yeah, no, they're super comfortable, super lightweight, like good sleep shirts, good like PJ shirts. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like Cute. him. I like him. We'll link him. What do you think about getting a puppy? I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent too. But I want one. I mean, yeah. Like, twist my arm to get a puppy, but... Our biggest fear about getting a puppy is if we get one, our next, like, longer trip is probably like four or five months away. Yeah, and then we're gonna be like tied down by the dog. But there's cool places here, like farms. True. Nashville has like some really cool like dog things companies on, and yeah. dog things going on. I know. Like that school bus. I know. There's a school oh bus that comes by house to house and picks up your dog and the dog runs out and like gets in the <laughs> seat at his school, on the school bus. We're so doing that. And they, we and get they, a dog? they go to like a farm, don't they? Yeah, they go to a farm and they play and, and they then play the bus drops them back and off. The bus drops them back off like at the end of the school day. So cute. That's legit. I love that. I'm pretty sure I'd want another Vichela though. Yeah, I don't think I can like, I think we're kind of addicted now. Uh huh. Yeah. And I would want our next dog to so he's gonna be different. Be different in a way where you still like have like the same attachments as you had to use. Yeah. But no one can ever feel the the gap. Of the goose. gap of goose. Goose was like I don't know if he was a Vishla, but he was so special. And even like people know he was special. I think people could tell through the camera he was special. Even like every mm -hmm. like even Delaney and Clayton were like, there's only like a handful of like special dogs you meet in your life, and they're just like are you know they're special they have that like the best personality and like not every dog has that and they were like goose had that he was just one of those cool dogs and mm -hmm. i'm like i know it's just like impossible to replace impossible like he was we've met so many coolest. people we met so many people that got to meet noah and they're like there's no one like him i know well and like, like anyone that met him was like okay now we're getting a beach law i'm like i know because he's like yeah he's the shit. or people would meet him and just be like i gotta get a dog now and I they know. Would, like they might not even get a beach law, but like he was the inspiration of like i want a dog like him i know he was so good so good i mean no he, pressure to he was time. also he was also so sweet he was just Ooh. like sweet like just so like that was what was cool about it. I he know. Was sweet he was cuddly he was the best he would play all day playful and then he would come and be like I know. And just like, be like so tired and like, like give all he had, you know? He would cuddle so me every night on the couch. I'll watch TV and he'd come and sit as close as possible. Mm -hmm. 
was so good. I loved snuggling with This was so good. So super cute and good. Mm. Remember with Goose is hard. I know. You like really just can't think about it. It's too sad. It's too sad. Yeah, every time we start thinking about Goose, we're like, okay, we gotta stop because it's still kind of hard, you know? It's so sad. There's a laundry. I'm gonna switch it before I get super off. Alright. I gotta start the vlog like ASAP. I'm gonna edit a vlog. Wait, I think we can get it up today, don't you? Yeah, totally. Let's just take that home. I had a scotch last night. That was probably stupid. Okay, so much later, I've been running errands, and Hunter and I are just finishing up anything around the house. We're about to go to his parents, but I feel like it's as ready as it will be. Here's the current state of our living room. The dining, which we're still waiting on our chairs, so these are not gonna be what's here, but for now, we have them. Um, and then the entry looks really cute. This looks so good, and we moved the bench to the entry finally, which is where it was intended to go, and it is adorable. I just love it, so that's super cute. Office is decently clean. And same with Hunter's office. So, house is looking good, I think, for the most part. It's as good as it's gonna get. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave for the airport in a little bit. I'm wearing this little Shop Tan Lines romper um, with an Urban Outfitters men's little jacket. Well, it's an oversized shirt, but it's so cute. My Nikes and a little chain belt. This one's Miranda Fry, but I think they might be like discontinuing it or something. I'm not really sure. And a little baseball cap because I just have greasy hair today, so probably could lose the hat. One less accessory. I've got a little bit too much going on. Um, okay. Hunter's parents are here. We didn't really think through the morning leaving. We did not think. We should have had the espresso already ground. Rude. No, just ground. Well, no, it won't be as fresh. You can't do that. I mean, we shoot it anyway. It's not like we're sipping on like this beautiful <laughs> espresso. Yeah, true. Should we leave that open? No, that's sketchy. It's like, here, no one's home. Come on in. Okay. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. I stood up for the Lakers game last night. Who won? Uh, Phoenix Suns, LeBron, and the Lakers are out of the playoffs. I forgot LeBron's and the Lakers. And actually in his press conference, it was kind of funny. Some of y'all probably saw this, or if you have boyfriends or husbands, they probably showed you. But they were like, are you going to be ready, get, getting ready for the Summer Olympics? And he was like, no, all my focus is on the Toon Squad, and we're playing the Monstars. Who's that? From uh, Space Jam. Yeah. Because he's the new Space Jam. You know how Michael oh, they're Jordan, making a, they're making a second one. Oh, LeBron's the character. Of course. Instead of you know how Michael Jordan was in the first yeah. one. Yeah. And um, in his press conference, he was like, "Are you going to be like gearing up for the Olympics?" And he's like, "Like dead um, serious." Serious. And like, <laughs> no, all my focus is on the Monstars. Like, I'm trying to get my tune squad ready. Like he said, it was straight face. Yeah. That's he's funny. like, you know, he's like me, Lola, um, Bugs. That's funny. Well, anyways, Hunter's parents are here. They arrived last night, and we are taking them around Nashville for the weekend. We will try to vlog, but we're also just kind of like enjoying the time. Um, we, yeah, what are we gonna do for Franklin today? Um, today's probably a good day to do Franklin. We're, it's Friday, so we're thinking about doing f like Fido Fridays. Fido. We do Friday. Fido breakfast every Friday. Yeah. And so we thought maybe we could take my parents. 
we did recently start doing our smoothies like more often, but we still didn't let that disrupt Fido. Don't we can't lie to ourselves about that. We kind were going of. to Fido even amongst like our smoothies. I think by the end of the week we were we were wanting a smoothie, but the goal of the you're, smoothies is to you know you're supposed to. Do you mean by the end of the week? We kind weren't, of. We weren't wanting a smoothie because we had a moment. Yeah, we were kind of like, oh, yeah. Fido sounds good. I think we might have been hungover last time. That's why it sounded really good, but. The point of the smoothies is we need to go a little harder. You know, the smoothies in the book, you basically, she eats basically like on a whole 30 mm -hmm. with the smoothies. With odd, yeah. I mean, and we're just having the smoothies and just hoping for the best. I mean, we're going smoothie straight to like <laughs> chips, and dip. <laughs> chips and dip, just chowing down, tuna dip, chicken salad dip, cheese dip. <laughs> Any Baby kind steps, of dip. Babe, give us the dips, give us the chips. No, we can't. I know, we gotta figure that out. I mean, um, just give us the dip. Give us the chicken salad with the free. Give us the chicken salad. I give know. Julia the chips. I mean, oh. give keep, Julia the chips. Keep the chips away from me. Someone said, keep someone called me on the last video. Shout out to you. This is great. She goes, I, I love how Julia is an expert at chips. Like she knows the thickness, the crunchiness, that I am. The, the shapes. Oh, yeah. Everything about every chip. Circumference. <laughs> the everything. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid yas. <laughs> The radius, the radius, the, the circumference, the diameter, the diameter, the circumference. <laughs> All right, we're going to have 45. Did we Today even, did is we even like be... sign up for this class? Yeah, yeah, we signed up. I think we did. It was weird. I had a, I was gonna call a termite guy, I mean, or like a pest control guy, just yeah. to like every house I feel like has a pest control. Or is that, is that a scam? I don't know. Is pest control a scam? Like, if you're in the pest control business, let us know the true opinion. And even if you're not, let us know your opinion too. Because I feel like they overcharge you. It's such a big business. like, And they it's a door-to-door -door sales. I'm not calling every door-to-door -door salesman a scammer. I just feel like they're after like... Okay. Take a back step. I was considering... Like, on my list of to-dos, I was going to call pest control. Right. right? And I was gonna call them just to come give us a quote. I want them to just like spray around the house just to make sure like nothing gets inside. Yeah. Kind of take down the cobwebs, just kind of do like the little little maintenance, right? Right. All of a sudden, yesterday when you were running to Marin's, a pest control guy comes to the door. Mm. Okay. And he goes, Hey, um, I, I used to do it for blah blah blah. The guy used to live at our house. Uh-huh. And it's like sure. I, I didn't believe it. Like my first instinct was like I don't believe you. You just looked up the previous. You looked up owner. the previous owner. He was actually pretty smooth. Like I appreciate a good salesman, but he was like, I used to do pest control for blah blah blah, and I know he moved recently, and um, you know I, I wanted to maybe get you on the same plan. I can give you discounts since you know we've already been doing this house and we know the house. I was like, oh yeah, sure. we all be able to get our second floor, and I was trying to see what he knew about the house. Yeah. This is see. I was like, we went up on the second floor. He was like, yeah, he's like, I'm trying to recall, do y'all have a, a basement as well? We can do maybe do that, do y'all have that? Him asking he, that question, yeah, I'm like, you didn't, didn't do it. Like, I mean, I know he probably does so it's many houses. It's just a little sales pitch. It but wasn't it was that a sales one pitch, guy but that, that no, but it, but to me, that's starting with a lie. And so I was instantly yeah. feeling like he was lying to no, me. No, I'm trustworthy. And even to the point that I forgot that pest control was on my list of to-dos. I could have just easily been like, sure, business perfect. is I yours, give me a quote. I was just thinking about it. But because I felt like his approach was like, Starting off with a lie, I was like, "All right, give me your card. I, I might call you." Just like, see, get this, the yeah, push. you have to. Sometimes uh, uh, sale goes to the person you just end up liking the best. And, and, and yeah. You got to be cool. And I like the hustle. Like, I like the bending of the truth a little bit to get the deal done. Right. But to me, it was not a bending of a truth. What they do, they literally just sell you, and then like the people just stop by every month. They don't know the house. Like, they just make the sale. And they always say like. It's always a special, or it's always like, hey, I'm in the area. Always. Or, hey, it's so tacky. It's like, come up with something different. They all say the same thing. Or every one of them say, hey, I was at Martha's three houses yes. down. And it's like, I don't know a freaking Martha. Hey, I was just, at Martha's. I'm, I'm just doing all of your, do all I of do them. all your neighbors. I take care of all of them. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the area for the next hour, and, and, and you got to let me know in an hour. It's he like, goes, I assume. You know, I, 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 I let you know nothing. He goes, I assume you have the service uh, XYZ. Like, I don't mean to hurt your feelings or nothing. But you know, we're, we just we take over those accounts. No, I'm like, I, dude, 
first off, I don't have him. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. I hate when they go and you go, oh yeah, we have term next. Oh well, I'm so happy that I stopped by because their service, it, you know, it, it that's the spiders in the cracks. You guys notice a lot of spiders. Yeah. We're like, okay, bro, I'm working. Don't even gotta go. The term, the pest control people would be me like. The Terminex poles to get up to those webs are only seven feet. I, Ours are twelve feet <laughs> poles. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Then pay an extra hundred dollars for your extra. I don't care. Oh. I mean, I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm just having some fun with it, but yeah. Yeah, we need. What's the best term? It was. It was term weird right? to me that that was on my list, but I wrote off in my mind that I needed that done because I felt his you're approach like, was annoying. like, yeah, dishonest. Off. Dishonest. Mm -hmm. I want, I'm almost wanting to text our ex house owners and be like, hey, what pest control service did you use? And if it was that guy, then he, like, I'll give him the business because he was actually pretty smooth. He was? If, yeah. If he wasn't like lying, he was like a cool dude. Okay. But if you didn't it was, like that little. If it wasn't them that was using it, then I, I don't want to go with a liar. I feel you. You know? <sighs> okay, I think we should go. God, annoying academy. <laughs> Enrollment is open. Yeah, All I'm the lead professor. Yeah, you are. All right. When I talk to my friends, I talk about you. When the Hennessy sees you. Hey y'all, by the way, we like this camera a lot. Well, uh, a lot of y'all asked on Instagram and I think YouTube even what camera this was. Oh, they did? Yeah, and I'll I'll put all the info in the description. I'll just do that, it'll be easiest. I feel like this or the Canon G7X, they're both. Just... G7X is like our go-to, but it breaks really easy. Like the screws are so it small does. that the screws come out. We've probably had like- It's more fragile. In the past like four years, we've probably had over 14 or 15 of G7Xs. That's, that's weak. No, 10. Okay, it's okay, 10. That's weak though. Maybe like nine. No, we've had like 10 repairs. Well, repairs, definitely at least 10 to 15, but like where we send total it in, cameras, maybe. not nine. We probably had like six total cameras and we've mm. we've gotten those six repaired so many times. Well, that's what I'm talking about each repair is like a new camera. Like it, it's broken where we had to oh, get a new one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like that's at least like 15. Yeah, because they just give you a refurbished one. Yeah. So yeah, probably. Anyways, the G7X, it's great, great quality, but it just like breaks really easy because the, the screws are so small, so the screen like detaches from the camera. Yeah. Um, I should send that other one in. This one, it's it's a Canon also, it's an EOS, but I'll leave the I'll leave the link in the description box. For some reason, we don't like drop it as much because the lens is bigger. And we put the strap on it, so. Yeah, strap is helps. key, it's dorky, but it's key. Well, I, I was telling Julia, we walk out of, out of our workout class, and we're kind of by Vanderbilt where we work out. And you see kids walking to class like with their backpacks, and it kind of gave me like um, sentimental feelings. Is that what you yeah. say? Yeah. Nostalgic. Well, it was nostalgic, but like the feelings it gave me, it was feelings of nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> but I just remember like us walking to class together in college. It feels like it's so long ago, but like I remember like going to the library together. I know. God, we were so young. So young. Love college. Like I remember like. College just might have been one of my favorite times. I would go to the library with Julia because she was such a bookworm. She would go study for like hours. Like after class, she would spend the rest of her day, every day, even on weekends, at the library. Because I have to. And I would just like. My brain doesn't like absorb. Hunter can literally hear like a lecture one time and like an A on the test. And I have to literally study it for hours and hours and hours for it to even make a dent. It's just the way, like, my brain well, works. Well, like, yeah, we just have two different brains. But I remember, like, I would go to the library and just waste a bunch of time. You would just doodle and watch YouTube videos I'd while I study. I would annoy the shit out of you, probably. I'd write you notes, and you'd be like, I'm studying, like, quit. Oh, so many notes. And I'd be notes. like, hey, look you... at this video. Put my headphones on, watch this. You were literally, like, you it's never just... studied, but somehow you, you're just naturally smart. I was just, like, a, I was a distraction. <laughs> you were a distra huge distraction. I'm an annoyance, a distraction. <laughs> 
<laughs> you should put me in the right recycling. <laughs> you and the pretzels could go into the yeah, recycling. Exactly. <laughs> oh man. Like I was kind of a class clown too in like my elementary school years. Yeah. I got a little bit more mature in high school. Maybe not. I was probably a little clown then too. But I think it was because I was bored. Like kind of yeah. like how Sophie would get bored in class because she smart. could. No, I'm not even saying that. But I would just like, well maybe. I would just hear things and like, like you said, remember it. And so I would, yeah, I feel like you can literally bored. be doing like a full activity and be hearing something and you'll remember it. Yeah. You're that. Uh, what's that? Latent learning. Latent learning. Latent learner. Whereas like I am like you got my full I was focus also, and I'm like you say it ten more times because I'm not getting it. I was also a psychology major, and that I actually had to slightly listen to or not even listen to, but I had to study because it was like science stuff yeah, about that's hard. brain and memorization and like flashing wrench. You know? I like had to study for that. But if y'all any of y'all are like going into college or are in college and not sure what to major in, I would highly, highly, highly yeah. recommend psychology. Like it can be used across any field, and it's, for me, it was the most interesting, and that's yeah. why I chose it. Like, I love. Hey, it. Hey, someone said that you're their your YouTube cousin. Oh, that's fun. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> I like seeing comments like that, because I'm like, I know, you're the best. Yeah. It's my little secret. <laughs> <laughs> my little secret. That's cute. I think it's hard for people to know you fully through a video, because yeah. you don't get all of Hunter. I, yeah, I'm not my... I hide myself. I'm a little bit more it's weird hard though. on my sleeve. But I'm extrovert and you're introverted. But, but I think introverts are naturally themselves. Like when they the come when they come out, they're themselves. Oh, I think as yes. an extrovert you're an entertainer, so you're kinda doing you're telling you're yeah, just it's like who's in almost there. like being what other people want you to be. Kinda. Kinda. Which is what you hate. I know, I know. <laughs> it's fun just like this little clown in a trap box. I'm you're the jack I'm the jack in the box. You're special. You just winded me up, I'm ready to pop the fuck out. You are a very special very person. Pop off. Huh. But not very many people get to know you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think everyone sees how special you are. No. Because you are. You're like naturally yourself on camera. I think I've gotten better. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, hard. flashback to like California days. I didn't know. I, anytime you put someone on camera for the first time, they're like, oh, oh hey. God, yeah, it's like so awkward. So it took me like probably two and a half, three years just to be able to be normal in front of a camera. It's just you, for some reason, you try it, try recording something, and you'll see, like, instantly when the camera comes out, you, you're kind of like, what do yeah. I say? That takes a lot of practice just to get comfortable with it. I think over time, now we've we're kind like, of, now it's like we're not even on camera anymore. We talk as if we're talking to each other and, like, including you almost. Like, you're a third person. Yeah. Like, almost like the camera's a third person. Exactly. Versus, like, people watching. Which is a weird concept to get used to. We don't think of it like that. I know, we I know. kind of forget the camera. Well, there. now it's like... You do. Now it's like we know they're people, so it's like we're talking to them. Yeah. Just like joining up our conversation or watching our conversation. Mm -hmm. Versus like, hey, welcome back to another video. We're about to drive around town and we're going to go to the we're workout at the center. Carnival on YouTube. Like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like a lot of YouTubers are like that. It's like, are you on crack? Yeah. <laughs> Holy is kind of nobody talks that. like that i think that's like how the new generation though they're like so used to social media and like these huge big responses that that's like what younger youtubers do now it's like welcome back to my channel we're gonna yeah. jump off the roof today and do three backflips i'm gonna flips. scare my wife and i'm gonna like, act like i cheat on her and... nobody acts like that okay oh man okay anyway <sighs> so we're going home coffee fido i do love a good prank though i Friday. will say that I don't like doing like those exaggerated pranks. I yeah. just like effing with you more than anything. I know. Like pretending we're going skydiving. Oh. Like those are my type of pranks. I like just like mm -hmm. slow, drug out, the worst ones. executed perfectly type pranks. I'd rather just get short and fast, get it over with. Like a scare. I don't know, actually. I don't like pranks. All right, we are taking Hunter's parents to White's Mercantile in 12 South. It is. Right here, and this is actually good because we'll show you guys a lot of places that. Um, you're making YouTube. Yeah, you're making YouTube. <laughs> These are Hunter's parents. Um, we're actually taking them to a lot of places that we would recommend if you're coming to visit Nashville. So, it's kind of this weekend will be our suggestions, our little tour to Nashville. So, here's White it's Mercantile. It's a really cute boutique in Twelve South, and then we're gonna walk around. Okay, we're walking around 12 South. We just met Jonna with yes. Anna, right? Yes. Hi. They're here visiting. Visiting from Iowa. Yeah. They're adorable. Yeah. We're on 12 South, just walking around, and they just happened to stumble by. 
We stopped and got some Jenny's ice cream. You got raspberry rose. Jelly donuts. You got chocolate. Cheers. You got vanilla. Super boring. I got pecan <laughs> sticky bun. Just broke my super glue nail off. Dang it. it sucks. Okay, we are doing all the game night. We're playing Farkle with our in-laws right now. It's a little dice game. I always get the stupid one dies. Come on, something's got to give. Yeah! So what? What is it? That was, she had 13 so fingers, so that's 13, 13, 13. 13. I'm watching that. 14. I thought you did it. I know I did too. What was it? 13 what? 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 We're playing a game called Farkle. Yeah. Nine. Mm -hmm. Farkle! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Please oh, put that on. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. Please it. put that annoying voice <laughs> on. Please. The editor is still on her. Uh, it's going, uh, I can't wait. Uh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do the zoom video when you do it. Don't you dare! Yes. Be so mad. You have our permission. Are you taking 400? <laughs> no. Do you need to sign anything? Just let us know. I'll sign her. It's like I'll sign her waiver. You got it. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you get the gold in? How much is that? Y'all yeah, get to put. Oh. I don't get to put it. How much is that? Did I win last time? No, I didn't win. No, you win. Wait, how much is that? That's two thousand. Two thousand. It's twenty one hundred. How much? Twenty one hundred. Twenty one. She used to roll the whole thing. Twenty one hundred. Twenty two. You're in the same position I was in last game. I know. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now. I'll just get a five. Oh no. Oh no. Silent <laughs> laugh. You had to. I know I had to. No, you didn't. You said I did. You're like, <laughs> if you don't go, she's gonna beat you. Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Oh, to another I day. I felt this tired. I doubt that this is another vlog, it's probably just another day. Yeah. So I'm not aware if the bliss log is starting or being or leaving on. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We haven't really vlogged with my parents here. This is definitely like I don't it's weird I don't think about bringing out the camera it's like hard for me around people yeah especially when it's like family like remember when your mom came into town we vlogged like the day she got there just us picking up from the airport and then we didn't pick up the camera again until she left mm -hmm. and we're not doing it intentionally it's like you're just trying to spend time with your family yeah in the moment I mean the thing is that I don't mind being I don't mind having the camera out because we've gotten so used to it that it doesn't feel like anything is there but for somebody that's not mm -hmm. used to the camera it's quite an imposition to have it out because they're like nervous around it you know what I mean mm-hmm I'm not even nervous like just like hyper aware hypersensitive hyper aware yeah. um like my parents are actually really good on the camera they're, they're really, really, they are really good they're much themselves I think I think sometimes like it does two things to people. It either makes them cautious or turns them into entertainers. Mm -hmm. I think for my parents it turns them into entertainers. It totally does. Yeah. You go one of either way. Same with your dad. It turns him into an entertainer. And it turns your mom into like kind of like My quiet. mom crawls up into a ball. Yeah. Yeah, some people get just really shy and they're like, it's like I can't even talk. And I'm like, oh, what happened to you? You like <laughs> went mute and uh it's just because of the camera and then some people are like, hey, they like love being on it. It just yeah. depends. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think my parents like being on it. They don't mind when it's out. Yeah, they don't. I just, once again, we've said this before, we try to be respectful when we have people around and like, like, it's our job to vlog. It's not theirs. They didn't ask for it. Like, yeah. it's part of our business and our job. It's not anything in relation to what they do, so. Anyways, but yeah, does not really affect you because there's still been videos going up? So. Yeah, we're just we're voicing we're, as we normally do. We just tell you what's on our mind. 
Um, but we're on our way to F45, and we're going to a different location. I'm, maybe I'm trying. It's we're on a windy road, and it's, it's just not there. windy. You just do take it's, hard turns out for no reason. Oh, look, the geese. Um. Uh, we're on our way to F45, and we're going to a different location. It's our second time coming to this location. They just had like a soft open. It's in the gulch. It's in the gulch. Which is really fun because they're doing the the way that they used to do it at the gym before COVID, which was, yeah, traveling around in a circuit. circuit. Yeah. And we've been stuck in these damn pods for, you know, eight months. For a good reason. Like, we understand why. I know, They've been but trying to, like, keep everyone safe and, like, months, sorry. Uh, trying to uh, follow all the regulations and stuff like that. However, it's owned by the same uh, people. And all the trainers kind of rotate between the two gyms. And so we're still there seeing our normal trainers and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just a different location. And yeah. we get to do the circuit. So. I feel like with my long hair and these glasses that kind of give off a blue shimmer made me look like um, like a 50s, 60s rocker. Like Piano Man. What's his name? <laughs> kind of. Elton John. Yeah. These are kind with of great. The hair Elton John. Yeah. He didn't have long hair, but. These are, I think we showed these, they're blue light glasses that are supposed to transition into sunglasses. But they don't really get much more transition into them than this, do they? And then it leaves me looking like Elton John. They're not supposed to get like dark like sunglasses. Or else, I mean, there's no way they could do both. They can get all the way, so it's just like a little tint. Yeah. It's protecting your eye, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, all we right. did not sleep good last night. We had some good cuddles, though. We did have good cuddles. Remember, those are some tight ass cuddles. Those were. I wonder why, because we were hot. I know, right? <laughs> so weird. But yeah, we need to make a plan for today. We have a double date with some friends tonight. We do. We do have that. Excited about that. And then we. Guys, this is Greece. We leave for Greece this week. It's Europe week. So. Yeah, after tonight. We are in prep mode, like hard. After tonight, we leave in like. Days. Two or three days. It's time to pack. Like we have so much to do, especially. We have a lot of work to get to one. Yeah. What is that thing sliding around over there? I don't know. Could you move it? Of course, it's a tape measure. Classic. When I try to fall back, I fall back to you. When I talk to my friends, I talk about you yeah. When the Hennessy saw all I see is you We vlogged this morning before the gym, right? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we did. Um, my parents are packing up. My dad's loading up his suitcase. I'm about to grab my mom's suitcase. She's on the phone with my grandmother, her mom. They talk like every day. A couple times a day, probably. My mom's always on the phone. Yeah. Talking to somebody. He's doing all good. Oh, every day. Us, uh, intrude oh my God, in your business. I know. Thanks for coming. Y'all have fun now with your friends. We love you, girl. I hope we didn't leave too big oh. of a mess. Oh, oh my God. God. Not at all. I think you guys oh my gosh. It's like so fun. I love your I know. No, thank y'all for letting us. I mean, I like that better because we can like hang yeah. out and play games yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, sure. Definitely. It was a lot of fun.
falling for they tricks, yeah Beaten by the stones and sticks, yeah They ain't ready for the blood twist, 